Okay, so welcome everybody for the Xcent tutorial. My name is El Gecko. Today I will show you how to get 3D objects into a VTX file ready to use in Xcent. Therefore, you would need a 3D Studio Max installed on your computer because Xen comes with the with a macro script which makes the conversion and starts the exporter automatically. Okay, I open 3D Studio Max and maybe generate some primitives and show you the whole process until you have it ready in Xen. So I want to show you just the basic how I can get a 3D object into a VTX file ready for Xcent. We just create a primitive. You have a huge load of primitives within 3D Studio Max. You could also use Lightwave, Cinema 4D, Maya. Most of the 3D programs have a 3DS exporter. In worst case, you could use Wavefront object file and you could load it here within the 3D Studio Max under the section Import. I create a primitive, let's say a torus knot. So, I go here in the modifier on the right side, into the modifier list, and you see in the modifier that it's not a polygonal object now, it's like a, it's a formula. That's why I can change here the radius and all the things very interactively. So once you're finished with tweaking the object, you have to do the following. There's different possibilities to convert this into an editable mesh, which means that you have real polygons, which run through the converter later. Either on the selected object, you just right click with the mouse and you check the um, convert to editable mesh. This is one possibility. You see now in the modifier list that it's uh, editable mesh and it's not the formula for this torus knot anymore. This is important because you need polygonal data the real polygon data to get it right into the VTX file. The second choice to make it editable is just right in the modifier window, right click, editable mesh, done. And you add the second step, UV map. Probably you can scale here. You can also scale it later in the Xcent engine. It's the same with animation. I could, like I do here with auto key, I could make now a, a rotation or a scale from here to 100, scale it and rotate it like this. And this movement will be also appearing in the Xcent software. If you think further, you probably would like to just export this object uh, as a still and use the powerful tools in Xcent to scale, rotate or position. Why? It's a very easy answer because in Xcent you can uh, use MIDI data, you can put it on a slider on a MIDI device. So it's much more powerful to make a gizmo in Xcent. You can synchronize the scale behavior with the beat and many more things. Okay. Sometimes there are some issues where the object is too big or too small when you import it in Xcent. Probably it's not a big deal. You can multiply the scale within Xcent within seconds. Or 
you just experience the right scaling within your 3D application. So here now we have our Taurus node and we probably scale it up like five, ten times bigger. I go now to the material editor and we create some material with a texture like this picture here. We apply this texture by just drag and drop to our object. We could make a quick preview. Here you see the mapping of this kind of structure. And now we run the max script. Run script. And we go into this directory, documents VMS Xsynth exporter. There is the Xsynth VTX exporter.ms. This is the right one. Here you see now the, the user interface. It's not very difficult. You click on export and you choose your name of your object. I just give him an easy name like ABC. Uh, maybe I'll give you one more hint here. Be careful with naming your objects because the naming is binding within the Xsynth engine. So once you put a name here, you're not able to change it. So if you have five Taurus node, don't start with Taurus node one, two, three, four, five. Make it Taurus node thin, Taurus node fat, or whatever describes best to easily work later in Xsynth. Go to save and now the exporter window appears. Probably the default setting is OK and in most cases you just click on OK. OK. After the script is done, you just check the enter key. We leave now the 3D Studio Max and launch the Xcent. Here we are under the 3D section. We click here to add a new layer. And here we have under ABC, it's our object. First, you check the UV mapping and you assign any of the materials you have in the Xcent engine. Like we could use this bluish one, like this one. And if you right click on the texture, it will select and accept. And here we go now to the scale. And we make it like 0.33. We scale it down in the dimension we want to use it. If you want to add a rotation, so. Here we got our Taurus node within Xsynth. My name is Visual Grandpa, aka El Gecko, and I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.